So our last session is devoted to Turkish textbooks. And um, we have two speakers uh, for the first talk, designing a Turkish textbook, a Turkish language textbook. And the Turkish there means talking paragraphs. So Ezra and Sadat. Ezra from the University of Kansas and Sadet, excuse me, from uh, Stanford University. And uh, so I give you the floor. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. Thanks a lot for um, joining us in this last session. Um, so um, we will talk to you about our um, textbook. Um, we'll first start off with a basic int introdu introduction and then we'll show you some um, sections of our uh, textbook, of a sample chapter, basically. So um, the, uh, our textbook, Kundasham Paragrafla, is funded uh, through KU's Open Language Resource Center. And it's a textbook that aims to move students from the intermediate uh, level, intermediate mid, intermediate high level to the advanced level. And chapters of this project will be released in a serialized fashion with um, work hopefully completed during the summer of 2022. Um, so why did we decide to write this textbook? Um, first, there is uh, very few textbooks at, at that level. And most uh, of these are designed for learners who live in Turkey as foreign nationals who receive instruction uh, for hours on a daily basis and they learn Turkish in an, uh, in an immersion setting. And we wanted to create something specifically um, geared towards um, our Anglophone students at the college level. Also, um, existing textbook, they lack any meaningful attention to communicative competence. There are some books that are completely dedicated to grammar. There's grammar explanations, which are then followed by grammar drills, lots of grammar exercises, um, not any meaningful grammar exercises. Um, also, uh, materials uh, presented in reading and listening activities, uh, those are neither um, authentic nor of practical use, um, not of any interest to um, our students. And there's very few structured speaking and writing activities as well. And Turkish culture is largely ignored. Um, um, yeah, there's some textbooks that have maybe just very few, two, three um, cultural, um, um, like mention culture in a way. Um, so we wanted to change that and write a textbook that in, incorporates um, Act Falls five, five Cs. Um, Sadet, if you can continue. Yeah. Uh, where are we at? Uh, so far, we, our book will be uh, 12 chapters in total. And uh, we completed uh, three chapters. We piloted, revised the chapter with the feedbacks. And you can reach through that uh, link. And we will also um, uh, pilot the fourth chapter this spring quarter. And we'll see how it goes. And then we make the revisions and things will be getting ready. So each chapter consists of the following parts. We have a cover overview, reading part, a grammar part, spotlight on culture, uh, listening, vocabulary, and writing. Mm, so now we want to show some part of uh, our book. Um, so in the cover, you will see the content. And of course, the learning objectives, they are very clearly provided and um, in the content. Mm -hmm. Uh, we start with a uh, infographic. Uh, we think that infographic will also serve as a warm-up activity and always a visual support and comprehensible input. Students will have a chance to compare and contrast, of course, and it's a good for speaking activities. And this is also, a, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay. Uh, for, yeah, this is another one, another infographic. Is they're all authentic. That's also like what matters. You will be hearing a lot about authenticity 
and uh, comparing and contrast. So after this overview, we then have a reading section and each reading section starts with uh, uh, pre-reading activities, uh, which uh, are skimming scanning exercises. Then we have a vocabulary exercise um, and then a, um, a discussion section and we with this pre-reading um, exercises, we hope to serve to prime the students. And then we present them with a, an, uh, an authentic text and we provide an, an unknown voc vocab list as well. And then after the reading uh, text, we have uh, post-reading activities. So first reading comprehension questions. Then we have a, uh, several vocabulary exercises uh, where students um, are basically have to work with this, the text in order to complete them. Um, that is then followed by discussion and um, role playing. So we make sure that our the exercises move from controlled to more open ended interactive language use, usage. After the reading, we have a grammar section and the grammar point that we focus on is uh, based on um, the reading. Um, we provide ex explanations on grammars and we make sure to provide lots of tables, uh, graphs, uh, colors to make this um, grammar learning a bit easier. Um, and the exercises here in the grammar section also move from control to more open-ended to interactive um, language usage. And uh, students are um, asked to produce language um, and grammar based on, um, on, on given context. So they do some contextual analysis as well in, uh, during these grammar sections. Yes, uh, when it comes, okay. I just want to add little things. It's always, we are uh, aiming modeling at the level. So uh, so our reading paragraph, I mean, our reading parts, uh, materials is always, we are aiming at the level. So when it comes to the spotlight on culture, um, it's also a good uh, authentic materials and students can uh, define where, uh, who they are and what is their relation with the uh, target culture and define themselves, define the culture, uh, target culture, create a liaison and they can compare and contrast, of course. And the uh, spotlight on culture has also different practices. We can do, uh, students can do this in pairs, as a group, and also a role-playing activities. And always in, in, infographic are always very helpful. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, then we have a uh, listening section and in the listenings we um, you for this we use YouTube videos uh, and make sure that they are high quality and um, authentic materials again. Um, these are then followed um, again by exercises um, where students have to work, you know, um, um, do either role playing or um, um, do some other communicative activities. Um, and um, I was going to say something else with respect to this. Um, the the listening uh, the listening is also based on the overall theme of the of the chapter. So these are just parts of the listening. And then we have a vocab section. Um, again, we focus on the, um, on the vocabulary that is based on the overall theme of the chapter. And there's a variety of exercises. Um, so there's sometimes we make use of schematic maps, um, collocations, proverbs, idiomatic expressions. Um, we focus sometimes on texting abbreviations and um, internet acronyms and uh, things like that. 
yeah. Uh, for writing, we are aiming social writing and also formal writing and uh, aiming students using different text types, moving them from string of sentences to paragraph. And uh, this is why we aim, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. This is why we aim um, social and formal writing um, examples. So they can write an email, uh, they can write a, a formal letter also as well as related to the topic, of course. Yes. They can also do audio recording besides. And also for listening, just a little uh, note. So we have pre-listening activities as well as after uh, post-listening activities. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's all combined, aiming, pushing the student from one level to another. Okay, and that's, that's, that's it. That's it. I'm trying to see the chat, if there's any questions in the chat. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, so one is, one question is about, um, the link. How to access this textbook? I think I think there is a password. Um, so yeah, it's password pro uh, uh, protected right now, I believe. I'll um, if you write an email to me, I can probably give you the password. I'll just have to look for the password. And how long have you have we been working on this project? So we started. Uh, when did we start April? I say it's about like a, a good one year. One, one, um, almost one year. two years, I think, yeah. actively, I, I would say. And yeah. Yeah, we have still have uh, quite a bit of chapters to, um, to complete. Um, and hopefully we'll have 12 chapters completed uh, we, by the we, summer 2022. Yeah, we learned through, you know, like do, doing actually, we were very, um, in, and we are still enthusiastic. It's not about enthusiasm, but we wanted to include more, but then comes the copyright issues and then permissions. So that's pulled us a little bit behind to really, you know, go forward. Uh, but once we set the skeleton and the system, things are uh, easier compared to when how we begin. Yeah, and um, we were able to pilot as well very early on, so that sort of gave us quite a lot of feedback too. So we made us made some changes based on the piloting as well. So um, so hopefully after this this you know, this adventure, things will be going a bit uh, faster. But yeah, it always takes a f uh, takes more time to develop the first few chapters um, than, the, than the last ones. What kind of uh, platform will the units be made available on? So uh, the, um, our textbook is not going to be an online textbook, um, you would you will be able to um, download PDFs of it, and at some point, once this book is completed, um, you should be able to also purchase um, purchase the book for um, for a very small amount of money, just you know, for printing costs, basically, um, as as a book. But yeah, uh, right now I think um, you can only access the PDFs, downloadable PDFs of each chapter. Would you be open to sharing your template skeleton to adapt to Plains Cree dialect? Um, sure, we'd be happy to give you um, our skeleton and you can um, adapt it to whichever language you would like. Just send me an email and I'll, um, and I'll give you the password. Have you decided on your open license? Um, what, what exactly do you mean by that, Janet? Um, uh, I think this is something that we'll have to talk with KUOLR, I mean, with our uh, resource center, basically. But um, um, I don't think we sort of made a decision at this point, but it should be um, the more open, the better. Yes, I, I completely agree. 
And I think that's what we will be aiming for. I think, thank you so much.